Are you looking for a free open source analytics platform? Let's discover Countly, an analytics and customer experience platform for websites, but also desktop and mobile apps. With Countly, you can capture and analyze data in a modern dashboard with advanced permission system. In addition to usage and events tracking, it provides engagement features such as user feedback, surveys, A-B testing, and push notifications. To start using Countly, you can use their cloud version for free, up to 500 monthly active users, or use the self-hosted Lite version by following their installation guide. Or use a platform like ours, Elestio, to deploy it seamlessly on your server or the cloud provider of your choice. We handle the installation, backups, updates, and ongoing maintenance for you. To start using Countly on our platform, head to ls.io and click on Login. Then deploy my first service, search for Countly, and select. From there, you have the choice between different cloud providers, regions, and service plans based on your need. Once you have made your choice, click on Next. Adjust more advanced settings and choose between the different level of support. The first one is free and included by default. And once you're all good, hit the Create Service button. Once the installation is finished, you will receive this email telling you that your new instance is ready. Let's follow the click here to get the password link. We arrive on Elestio administration panel for our Countly instance. Copy the password to your clipboard. Our username will be admin, the main account, and let's open our instance. Type the username and paste the password, then sign in. Now, because our instance is empty and this is the first time we open it, we have an onboarding tour to create our first application. Let's name it Elestio Demo. You have the choice if you have a desktop app, mobile app, and web application. Let's take this one, it's easier for a demo. Then you select your time zone, application key, and create it. Do you want to subscribe to their newsletter? No, thank you, and continue. Okay, we arrive on the dashboard of our newly created app, Elestia Demo, and on the bottom left, we have this onboarding tour with quick start actions, add new dashboard users, we can follow it, and from there, this is where you would invite your team members. You can create a user, enter their detail, but what I want to show you is the permissions. You can select to which application, and you have CRUD-based systems with detailed permissions. I won't add anyone, so let's cancel it. And let's follow the second one, so create a new application. This is what we already did, but from there we can update our app. App information, we can add an icon to it. Let's do it. Open it. It's uploading and now displayed. We want to set the website domain of our application. So go to edit. From there, we can add one. I'll be using the same website I do in the different demos. Let's take it. Save changes. The button is hidden behind me. Here it is. Then in app settings, we have advanced things. How do you consolidate data, handle errors, many things to track data and events really polished and fine-tuned for your needs. And what we will need first is to add an SDK integration into our website to track events. You either have the buttons here, web is just behind me, or in the quick start guide here, you have Countly Guides and find your Countly SDK. I will open the web and it redirects us to Countly Code Generator. What we want to do, we have the choice between if we want to self-host the JS that will be on our website, the first option, or to use CDN.js, JS Deliver, or even a custom URL that is not related to your Countly instance, if you have your own CDN. Let's take the first one and then which features you want. I want all of them. Track user sessions, page view, user clicks, generate events for form submissions. And if you are smart, you just check it instead of checking them one by one. In advanced configuration, you can adjust some parameters, but let's keep it simple and generate our code. Okay, here it is, we can copy it or download. I will open my website builder, 
insert HTML before end of body and paste my script. So what it does, it will just add this script to uh, all my pages on my website. I save it and open my website. Okay, I can click on different links, browse it, see what it does, fill the form. Let's subscribe, open another link, also reload the page. And now let's see what we have. If we go to main menu, the home, we can now see we have one total session, the number of sessions, the duration, the average request received. It's starting to track my different requests to the website. So we'll do for all the rest of the traffic onto it. I might have forgotten to save for the icon because I can see it here. If I reload, it is here. So it's just that the issue. Here we are in the audience. We are on the main dashboard that you can customize the later. We have the sessions, acquisition, the number of page views, top search terms, technology, all the details you want from an analytics platform. Let's go to the sessions here and you have all the details about the sessions from your users. Of course, only one user is not very interesting, but once you start to have some data, it will be very visual. We can have access to the Countly guides here to discover how we can use SDKs. So let's go to it. And by using the code of our SDK, we will be able to go further than the simple generated code. For example, user device identification, adding custom user properties that can be set automatically by the generic code or add custom events. If we go back to our dashboard, go to events overview. Now we don't have any events because we need to configure them. Link click and count. So here we only have link click because it's the only one that exists. I didn't create uh, any other one. And because I clicked on my website, it automatically created this kind of event. So add to list. So now it's part of my different events. Done. And now we have the details of it here. Link click. We have two link clicks. Another very useful feature is the feedback. On the light version that we have in self-hosted mode, you have the ratings feature. You can go to rating widget and create a widget from there. You can add a name, a list your feedback, add a question, define different ratings. If you want to uh, specify what they say, you have full control over the UI. Next step, you can choose if you want to display emojis, thumbs or stars. Uh, do you want to display Countly logo? or upload yours, which makes more sense actually to have your private logo. There is an issue here with the main color and font color. So let's put it white instead. All right, next step. If we want to set it active or not, and on which pages it appear. By default, it's on slash or all of them. If you uncheck it, it should appear on all the pages. Then you can save it and it should appear automatically on your website because we have the SDK on our website. So as it is communicating with our instance, it should be able to display it. Unfortunately, for a reason I don't understand, I haven't been able to uh, visualize it on my website. Maybe it's broken or it's something I'm not doing correctly, but you know, the feature exists and it should display you uh, the rating feature on your pages. You have other feedback features available. If we, you check in the documentation, you can see feedback overview. You also have a uh, net promoter score surveys, but some of them are only available based on uh, your license of Countly. To know which features are available in the light version that we are using here, the self-hosted version, you can check the documentation, compare Countly plans, and see what is available and what is not. So a lot of things are only 
on the enterprise tier, but a lot of useful features for analytics are already present on the self-hosted version. You can also create custom dashboards here new with the specific visibility. If you are, for example, um, an agency doing projects for others, or if you have a team with different uh, sections, marketing, sales, technical, the metrics they will be interested on are very different. And that allow you to do this separation by creating specific dashboards. As always, I highly recommend you to watch other documentation to discover features that can be useful for you that I didn't present in this video. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed discovering Countly with us. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. If you want to continue your open source journey, watch this video, available here.